up, James? Hey, James, yo, can you hear me, bro? How you doing, man? Trying to get a mic check here. I don't got my headset, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, what's up, big boy? Yeah, if you can hear me, just let me know, man. Appreciate it. Uh. Can't hear. I right, cool. Appreciate that. Happy New Year's. Yeah. What's good? Happy New Year's, big homie. Yeah, Happy New Year's, bro. Let me turn this off. Yeah. Yeah, man. Happy New Year's to everybody, man. Trying to make this money this year. Let's go. Yeah, give it a thumbs up if you guys can. I appreciate it. What up, driver, bro? I can see Blue from Jackson, Florida, to anywhere, van. Oh, I got you. I got y'all. I got y'all. Just want to make sure. Yo, can you guys see the screen good? Last time I was trying to do is mess up. I don't know what's up with my other phone, but uh, I just want to make sure you guys can see the screen real good. You've been gone for a minute. What's good? Yo, what's going on, Ty Banks? What's up? I'm back. Trying to get back on it. You know, trying to get back at it. Hopefully you guys all had, had a good New Year's, man. And, uh, I know I had fun. It was, I mean, it was it wasn't that bad. And uh, spent time with the family and stuff like that, which everybody probably was doing the same thing. But uh, hopefully all you guys got a, you know had a, have a had a good New Year's, man. Danny trying to go to Lowe's of Canada. Come on, man. I was in PA and it was cold. Uh, you must. Hey, Jimmy, where you from? You from down south, man? Won't say what's up, brother. Cold. It ain't even cold yet, man. Winter gets to like below ten degrees up here, man. Yeah, it's gonna be crying. Hey, I'm uh, I got something special for you guys, which I'm probably gonna do it once a year, man. So uh, I'm gonna do it in in a few minutes. I'm gonna show the highs and the lowest what I made for last year. So. Uh, I don't like to do this a lot, but I'm going to do it just this one time. So I'm going to try to do it one time a year. I know there'll be a bunch of haters out there, but I'm just doing this so you guys can see some numbers and stuff. I'm not going to show you everything, just one big number, and then you just subtract it in your head or calculator and subtract what's what or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to show you guys a little something. I might need to come up to your way to make some money. Nah, John, you don't want to come up here, man. It's too cold up here. It's too cold. All right, let's see what we got here. Give me a second. I'm going to start searching in a couple minutes, guys. Give me a second. Let me just get set up real, real quick. I'm on my little man's phone, man. Hopefully, he ain't got no girls calling him. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them to call me when I'm doing this. <laughs> Well, at least you guys can hear me good, and the voice is good. I mean, and good. Uh, let's get to this thing. Uh, West Palm Beach, Florida. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah, I got uh, one of my uh, friend's mom is over there at West Palm Beach, Florida. Wally, happy New Year's. Could you please make sure you see something? Yeah, I got you. All right, uh... Let's get to the searches. I don't know. Let's 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 do something else first before I do searching. While I got you guys on, cause I know you guys like to disappoint. Well, you know I should not show you guys now, cause if I show you guys now, you guys you're gonna, you're gonna try to leave. I don't want you guys leaving right now. But let me do some searches real quick for the next five minutes, and then I'm gonna show you guys what what I'm trying to show you guys. Uh, can you do Southeast Regional from Savannah? You can tell this is my son's phone because look at this. Uh, uh, Savannah, Georgia. And why didn't he pop up? Uh, Savannah, Georgia. 100 miles. Uh, there ain't no southeast. I mean, you're going to have to go like south and then uh, I'm pretty sure there's North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee. 
That's pretty more. Well, Tennessee, Virginia is not southeast, but uh, yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's that's almost that's almost all southeast right there. Uh, southeast right there, man. Let's see what we got. Let's put Louisiana there too. Uh, let's let's put Georgia and let's put Florida there, and see what's up. Ray per mile. I ain't gonna do nothing under two dollars and fifty cents. So if it ain't gonna pop up, it's gonna pop up. Uh, let's see what we got. Now right, look at that West Palm Beach is up there. Huh? Uh, the race, man, because supposedly the race was getting a little bit higher from uh from what I hear from a couple of my buddies that is you know is over here right now. Let's see what's up. All right. Let's go down. Let's see what we got, man. Uh, Give me one second. All right. Uh, let's go down. My bad. All right, let's see what we got. Race is not, yeah. These are all local, uh, low lows. You know, they uh, they short lows here. These ain't too far, but uh, there's not a lot of lows uh, coming from where you at. But uh, at least, I mean, at least they paying. I mean, this this one right here to uh, North Carolina is not paying that bad. Eleven hundred dollars for that load. Florida, I won't go down there and. I will go to North Carolina. That's the best I would do, man, to be honest. Desmond, yeah, I've been good, man. I've been good, man. Thanks, God. I've been, uh, after everything through, uh, with pops and stuff like that, man, uh, I've been, uh, you know, I've been strong, man. So I've been, I've been chilling out there. Appreciate that, bro. All right, let's see what we got. All right, who's next? Who's next? Now let's see what we got. Uh, I'm going in the order, man. So whoever's there, I'm going to order, bro. Can I see lows from Denver, Florida, to anywhere? Anywhere? All right. I'm gonna leave it at two fifty a mile. I ain't gonna go nothing. now. This top one is is a team low, which I already know. If you could tell right here, it's team loads right there. Yes, team loads. Uh, they always had this low. If you guys notice it, they always got this low. So for you guys running teams, I'm not sure how far you guys away from this place, but this load is always available. And they got a bunch of these loads right now. You know what I'm saying? But I scroll down to see what else they got. Jackson to Miami. I won't do that. I do this low right here. Uh, Jacksonville to, uh, Orlando. Nah, you know, that, that's a good one day low right there. You know what I'm saying? It's not a bad load. Uh, to Miami, I won't do that. Remember, man, unless, unless you are from Miami, do not go down there. Unless you live in Miami or you're going to hang out there for the weekend or something like that, you take your butt down there. If you ain't doing none of those two things, don't even go down there. That's what they got. That's what they got leaving out of Miami. And usually it's always local stuff because there's nothing down there. Nothing down there, nothing down there besides the beaches, you know. And that's why, you know, I, I won't I won't go too far past down there, man. All right. Time be for real, you know what I'm saying? No one you go down there and, and not make no money, you know what I'm saying? Paul S. coming to Landstar Monday. Thanks for your videos. Appreciate it, bro. All right, let's see what who else we got here. Give me a second. I'm using two phones to do this stuff. So, uh, uh, bro, can you check? Can you do Cali to Cali? Yo, uh, that law I forgot was it called, but the uh, the owner operator law that's going on in California is on hold. So, I mean, maybe they're trying to. 
I, I just my buddy is somebody is on hold. He ain't told me everything about it, but if you guys know, a lot of owner operators lost their jobs because you know a lot of them guys you can't pick up with that new law that's going to take effect. You can't pick up in your own state. You could deliver to it. You just can't pick up from there. So uh, they're trying to pass that. They're trying to pass that law, but right now it's on hold. Don't know all the details about it, but I'm not pretty sure uh, somebody's here probably knows something about it. But I know this is, is a pretty big thing because a, a lot of drivers uh gonna lose their jobs because of that, and it kind of sucks, you know. Uh, so uh, let's see what we got here. Well, they ain't gonna lose their jobs. A lot of guys gonna have to get. They're gonna have to get their fully. You know, they're gonna have to get their own authority. But some guys don't got money for that. They don't got money for the insurance and stuff like that. And you know, you know, that's a couple thousand dollars, and. Uh, you know, some of these uh, companies ain't paying too good, so they live in check by check. So, uh, you know, that kind of sucks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's check Cali to Cali. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cali. And like I say, uh, a few minutes, I'm going to show you guys some stuff, some uh, uh, some comments for the month. And uh, uh, I guess, I, you know, that, that should help you guys out. If not, then don't know what this. Yeah, Cali. Now, this is could be local. This could be far lows. You know, it is. It, you know, it's whatever it is. Cali to Cali, or Cali to you know to Philly, and then back to Cali. Is it is what it is right here. So these are not yeah, not bad loads. Look, I would do that load uh, right here, Sergeant. Well, I, I think it's uh, South GTCA. Don't know what what does that stand for. Uh, to uh, Richmond, California. It's 400 miles, paying 1550 Hazmat, you know, it's, it's not a bad one. Los Angeles to Sunnyvale, California, 1500 bucks. Not a bad one. I mean, you guys let me know. I mean, I, I think that there's not that bad lows right there. I mean, at least they're going up a little bit. And uh, I guess the stuff in Cali might be going up too because there's not a lot of... You know, they, they're dealing with that new law, so I guess drivers are leaving uh, Landstar and uh, try to get their own authority because uh, they're afraid of that new law to take effect. But right now, it's currently on hold, so I think they're trying to beat it, hopefully, man, because we don't want that stuff. That kind of messed up, you know? A lot of drivers going to be without a job, and that's going to suck, man. All right. What else we got here, man? Uh, what's good? Uh, I'll read some comments here and there. Lows to Canada. Mm. I don't get that question a lot. And I tell you what, if you're willing to go to Canada, you will make more money than anybody on here. I tell you that right now. There's always lows going over there. So uh, I'm just going to put down anywhere to... Uh, uh, give me a second. Only 44 loads going to Canada. But, you know, you can see they're always paying so high. I mean, there's a lot of miles on it, but, I mean, they're paying pretty good. They got some Alaska stuff there, but. Now, if you don't know where these places are at, just go to details. SK, I'm not sure what the hell SK stands for, but let me see. Oh, that's just a regular city, town, whatever. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's, that's Canada. I mean, that's not that, that don't look that bad, you know. Give me a second. All right. Let's go down a little bit. Now, look at that. That's not that bad. Ohio to Canada, Quebec, $2,000. I mean, I mean, I guess they got to add toes. Uh, they got to add toes to that because I know you got to pay toes to go inside there. And uh, try to see an ass. Oh, my God. No. Uh, let's see what else we got. That's it for now. Let me scroll down here and see what else we got over here. Oh, damn. We want this. Let me see. Uh, yeah, try to make it a little bit simple. Uh, when there's a lot of stuff, you got to text me on the side and I can try to help you out. Lowe's to and from Edmonton to and from the U.S. on step deck. Ugh. See, I can do this best as I can. 
Uh, let's see. Let me give me a second. Where you at? Where you at? Oh damn! What is it? At? I lost the place here. My bad. Give me one second, guys. I think it's that one right there. It gotta be that one. Hold up. Yeah, it gotta be that one. Uh, uh, what do you want? Where's it at, though? Hold up. Big boy. Give me one second, guys. I'm trying to scroll back on here. I'm trying to see the comments here and stuff like that. Uh, Lowe's to Canada. I was uh, okay. I might need to come over. Emma tend to U.S. Oh, it's a step deck. Okay, let's see what we got. Zero lows for step decks, man. I'm going to look again, make sure I'm doing anything right. But, uh, yeah, it's zero lows out of there, bro. Uh, let me see. Well, let me change the, my bad. Let me put more miles on here. Let's put 150 miles. See if anything pop up. Yeah, nothing. Might not be a good place for sex going over there. Now, let's see if we put, we we, we, we can't start and we put down dry ran. Uh, let's see how, how much more loads coming out of here. Hey, you haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. There's nothing. That's crazy. Yeah, you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Give it a like if you guys can. You know, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, who else we got, man? Who else we got? Well, you know, let's, let's pause this right here. And let me show you guys some stuff real quick. Uh, oh, you got five likes. All right, it's all good. Show you guys. Oh, all right. This was December of December recently. That's what I made. Now, that's without deductions, without fuel and deductions and all that stuff. So, you used to track that, all that stuff, figure it out. Uh, that's for the whole month of December. I mean, let's say I, I, I might be like $2,500 in fuel probably for the month. $25,000 to $3,000 probably. Maybe less than that. I'm pretty sure it's less. This is just estimated, but this is for the month of December. It's $13,191. That's what I made. Then from there I subtract uh some tolls and uh and remember with the TA truck stop you get money back. So if I spend four hundred dollars in fuel, they're usually getting back eighty dollars in fuel. So that's the good thing with the TA truck stop. They give you the best discounts. So uh I wanted to show you guys that there's a lot of more information. Uh uh a lot of information that uh it show you here, but it's just too much. I don't. I can't go through all that stuff right now. And to be honest, I just don't want. I just can't go through all that stuff. It's just too much information. But this is for the month of December, which is thirteen thousand one hundred ninety-one dollars. Take it with few toes and a couple of extra stuff, and that's it. That's what you made. So and 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 you got to think about it too. Uh, there was two uh, weeks that I wasn't working that much, so uh, I was working three three days a week. So that's not that bad. This was my lowest paycheck of the year. So if this doesn't give you, I don't know, a good idea about coming to the line store, then I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, but uh, this was the highest month I'm, I was in January, $35,000. The next month, I made like $29,000, $30,000 too. But this was January month uh, of last year, and it was $35,000, and... I would, the deductions and everything was about five thousand dollars for fuel and and uh, and some toes and stuff like that. So that wasn't that was the best month. Uh, the best month I had for for that year. The year before that, I, I top way hotter than that. But you know, this is just showing you guys, man. Uh, you could make some money. 
you know, and uh, who who can make thirty five thousand dollars driving a truck? You know, what I'm saying like, you know, this is without college degree and stuff like that. So I'm really happy that I it was I was able to make that kind of money, and uh, uh, and of course you gotta save money for taxes. Uh, that's, you know, I, I keep thinking about that. Put money away from taxes. I always put down, try to put down 12, 13% a week for taxes for that way end of the year. And, you know, you got deductions too. But, you know, that stuff that if you own operated, you need to know that stuff already. So that's not, I'm not going to get into that right now. But, you know, taxes is, is a big thing about this. So make sure you put money away for taxes because uh, you don't want to spend all this money. I tell a lot of people that come over, you know, don't be buying all these stuff until you start saving money. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, the number one thing is taxes and, and, and stuff like that. And make sure you're able to eat and stuff like that. But that's something I ain't going to show you guys a lot. I might do that once a year thing. But that's that's why, that, you know, that's so I just want to show you guys that. Hopefully that was, you know, uh, yeah, your screen cut out. Basically it was, uh, you, you didn't see the screen, uh, big boy? Well, January was like over 30 $32,000 for, for the month of January. So, you know, that wasn't that bad. Uh, hey, have a truck just getting out of Nevada residency established. Again, the, mm, ah, yeah, get out of California, man. It sucks. Uh, it took me a little over four weeks, a little over four weeks, or a little over because I was looking for the right truck. So, yeah, about four weeks is right. Yeah, man, that's, that's the one thing. Don't rush it over here. Uh, just take your time. Make sure you get a nice truck, man. Don't get nothing cheap because you could make the money. I'm going to tell you right now, you could make the money when you come over here. So just get something good, you know, something about like 1500 bucks payments a month. Something nice, you know. Don't get nothing crappy because you're going to spend money in, in fixing it. So, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, your address can't be in California. Yeah, you right. All right, who else we got? We got any more searches here? Uh, uh, can you check Ronick, Ro Ro Virginia, anywhere? Oh, I got you. All right, uh, man, let me see. Uh, no, let's see, going anywhere. Here you go. Hell yeah, you get my money doing Flatbed over here. Let me know where you at. Flatbed got the least amount of truck drivers over here, so there's there should be plenty of that. I'm thinking there should be more loads. This should it should be easier for you to book a load doing Flatbed than drive ran because there's less competition here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got drive ran no Flatbeds. You know, plus you get seventy. I think it's Flatbed seventy two percent of the rate. So you know, land, you know, uh, driving, uh, we get sixty five percent flatbed. Get, I think seventy two uh, percent. Yo, uh, be careful with lying. I know a lot of guys that went there. They took the truck out, and a bunch of check engine lights came on. One thing I don't like about low miners that uh, you can't test drive the truck outside. I uh, had a guy went to Low Mine, I think in North Carolina, I think it was. And both you guys are race, so uh, whoever wants to search Ronick, just you know, just uh, check it out. Uh, but uh, they got some. I'm looking at it right now. They got some that bad luck. Fieldale, Virginia to Florence, New Jersey. I do that low in a heartbeat. They got one stop, but look at the weight, six thousand pounds. Uh, so it's not that bad. Let me see what else we got. Atlanta South Regional. All right. Oh yeah, just be careful with Lone Mountain, man. Just, just, be, just because I, I know people that have issues with the trucks after they bought it, and I mean that's the way it is. But uh, the only good thing with Lone Mountain is that you already know what your down payment is, but you actually pay more for the truck than other people is. You know, uh, same guy went down there. He went down there because he had bad credit, and he's paying. Almost seventeen hundred bucks a month for the same truck that I had, with an extra hundred thousand miles on it. I had three hundred thousand miles on mine. His was four hundred thousand, and he was he's paying uh 
he's paying almost the same, but with extra miles on his truck. Because, you know, low mind, you know, doesn't matter how your credit is, you're going to get approved no matter what. So I guess if you go to just get something real good, then, uh, you know, just, just get something real good, and that's all, man. If your credit's messed up and you're still trying to do it, I mean, I guess that's a way to do it. Uh, I would say take a loan out of bank and then go to the dealership and do it like that instead. Uh, then then go there. But if that's the only choice you got, and uh, you got to do it, man. I mean, I can't, I can't tell you not to do that. Uh, what's up? Let me see. I'm a little tired. I'm like, damn, where the hell is the Atlanta at? I'm like, man, come on, man. Stop being the dummy. Atlanta's in Georgia. <laughs> uh, he went to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, South Regional. Okay. Uh, nice post south there. Okay, that should be it right there. Should be a lot of loads over 100. Way over loads. Now, look, man. You see this low going to Miami? It was good, man. Don't do it. Unless you're going to dead all the way to Jacksonville, Florida, or Orlando, you're going to dead hit like 300 miles. If you want to dead hit 300 miles, you go ahead and do it. Uh, damn, 2020 Volvo VNL A60. Damn, that's a big dog right there. That's top of the line. Uh, man, you get that money. Okay, okay, 36. That's a good truck, man. Oh, uh, that's a good truck. Uh, damn. My boy got the, uh, I think the 760, not too, I think it's 760, and uh, it got the uh, remote control on lock bind on it, which is pretty cool and stuff like that. He got the table on the back, but you got the A60, which is, uh, I think the drive axle goes up in the air or something like that, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, damn, Paul, so you got that too? Man, you guys are, whew, you guys are ballers. That's easy, like what, $160,000, $180,000 truck? Friends got the same truck in a different color from Low Mine. Had it about six months, and they happy too. Oh, that's what's up, man. I mean, it's not all the trucks that's like that. Just you just gotta make sure you get, you know you get you just be safe, yo. Uh, check out repo agencies. I got my 08 Cascadia Silver 60 360K. Yeah, that that's not that bad. You know, Detroit 60 08. You know, if I ever get an old truck, I'm getting 2007 and under. But uh, uh. I mean, I got a DD15 2015, you know, and knock on wood, that truck been doing me good. So, thanks God for that, you know what I'm saying? Dang, look at what guys got two 2020s. That's not, not bad, man. Not bad. I think I think my boy had to pay like $25,000 down. Uh, I was going to get a, a 2019 Volvo, but they wanted like $25,000 down, and I, I, I can't put, I ain't had that money like that. Uh all right, this is uh, Atlanta going to uh, South Regional. At least a lot of loads. I have been having a lot of agents calling me, so that's a good thing. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's a winter time too, so a lot of stuff from the, uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff from the uh, Northeast got to get covered, especially if nobody want to come up here. So, uh, that's it. Uh, that's it. All right, well, so we got any more searches? Uh, can we do a search from Canada to south Southwest U.S. and back to Canada? Oh, uh, let me see. Let me see what I could do. As a second person to ask for Canada, that's crazy. Y'all trying to leave the States? What's up with that? Uh, I'm going to do Canada to uh, south Southwest. South, Southwest. Uh, well, the only way you got to do this first like this first and then uh, go back, go back. Man, what the hell is this? What I'm doing wrong? Give me a second. Canada. Okay. Van. Maybe put two. What the hell is going on? Hold up. Can't be zero lows out of there. Wow, zero lows going to the south. Let me hold on, let me clear this up. 
Let me put more West. Let me let me put different states. See if that's something. There's only 16 loads going for Canada. So it, I mean, to be honest, it kind of looked like there's not a lot of stuff coming out of Canada going back into the United States. Yeah, damn. Yeah, DD15. I think there's not a lot of loads coming. Uh, if I, that, that, that's the way it looks like. Is there only 16 loads coming out of Canada? You know, and that, that's, that's not good. You know, maybe there's not a lot of stuff coming out of there. But let's reverse it, man. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Uh, let's clear this out. Wait, give me a second. Uh, I messed up. Uh, let's check going into Canada. Now, if it's going to Canada, let me let me put the maximum search over five hundred, and uh, let's see let's see how, what's the difference. This will tell you right here. 111 loads going into Canada. So there's 111 loads going to Canada. There's only 15 loads now. So that should tell you that there's nothing coming out of there. Look what Big said. Nothing coming out of there. Yeah, you we leased in 2019 Fairliner killing us weekly from a company. So I'm guessing you're probably paying like 600 bucks a week probably for that 2019. Because every time you lease through a company, they raise that price up. I know somebody that's paying uh, two thousand dollars a month for a twenty fourteen Freightliner Cascadia. Two thousand dollars a month. So uh, if you if he's paying two thousand dollars a month, I know you're paying way over that. Well, yes, you probably gonna have to call the agent up. But I guess once you go into Canada, a lot of times you might. You know, get connection with some kind of agent that could have a load for you coming back. Now, this stuff here, I mean, a lot of loads, probably people already got them. So, uh, there are no loads since holidays. Damn, what the hell? I'm leased to a company and no loads since holidays. Wow. That's kind of bad, man. I hear a lot of truck drivers that's like that. And to be honest, these guys are telling me they're doing Uber and all that stuff. And that kind of sucks. Like, it's kind of crazy they got to do that stuff, but that's kind of sucks. Let me do one last search here. And uh, other than that, it was, good. it was a good year last year. Hopefully, this year will be better. And uh, that's all I can say, man. I mean, I did good last year, so I did really good. So I'm really happy. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Let me see. Uh. Let's see what's the hardest paying stuff they got here. Uh, these are the uh, top lows that are here. This is $40,000. Going to Oregon. I got to see what's up with this. High risk loads. Has uh, has my load had dropped in Silverton, Oregon. Uh, pick up, uh, deliver the second, deliver the sixth. Now, uh, you had to call them up. You had to come up to see if that's really forty-two thousand dollars. Sometimes it is, man. You gotta just—you don't know until you call them up. It's probably some hot freight, you know. Uh, you know, there's people that did a lot of crazy stuff like that before. And hazmat is always expensive, so it could be stuff they they really really need to deliver asap. So, and it's probably paying them guys because hazmat, man. I remember I did one box for my company and they charged the customer like I think it was like four or five hundred bucks to to ship in one box. It was like a pound of hazmat, you know. So I mean this whole trailer could be full with that stuff and that's why it's paying forty two thousand dollars. Yeah, uh what was that can canoe thirty six. Put my I put my recruiter in the bottom, man. His name is James. Tell him Trucker Dave sent you, and he will look out for you, man. Email me if you uh if you, if you want to. I uh, put my email in the bottom or whatever, and uh, just email me and uh and I'll let you know what's up. I put his his, his description on the uh under this video here, and you could contact him. He's cool. You could tell him what's going on and uh. He would he would walk you through the whole process. He's actually got a his agency is DUV. He's got, he got one of the biggest agencies in Landstar, so he's pretty connected with Landstar. So uh, 
Uh, he's a big agency, one of the biggest. So uh, that's a good person. And I deal with uh, a bunch of drivers deal with him through me or whatever. So uh, I give you the information and, uh, you know, you go from there. You know what I'm saying? I'm on right now. I didn't see no clue. Midland, Texas. Yeah, there you go. I ain't going to talk about Texas right now. I thought Cowboys blew it. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to get it there. All right, last one is going to be Jersey real quick. Lemo, what's up? How you been, man? Happy New Year's, bro. Uh, hopefully everything's good, man. Let's see what we got going out of Jersey. All right, Jersey. There you go. Mm, not bad. This is a good one. Uh, look, you're going to Ontario. That's paying twenty five hundred bucks, six hundred miles. I do that one. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, Newark to Newark, power only. This is like this is FedEx. FedEx right there all day. Uh, yeah, G A O. Yeah, you close. Yeah, them guys. Uh. Them guys play pretty good, man. Them guys be everywhere. Not that bad. Four and eight, four miles. Yeah, uh, 36. Uh, yeah, he's cool, man. I think uh, there was a guy that he had uh, He had a parole officer, and I think he got him in there. I usually deal with him and uh, Lance or Recruiter, but he's real good with the stuff, too. Uh, I, I put a description on the bottom. You can check it out, bro. I, uh, yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. I got to go to a couple places tomorrow at the work. So, uh, I got to go to bed, like, right now. I got to be up at 9 p.m. to work tonight. So, uh, uh, how's it for teams out of Kentucky? Yeah. What's up with the power only? Yeah, that power only, no, that's FedEx. That's, you know, just go there, uh, drop your empty at your house, go there, Bob Till. There was actually, there was paying drivers. 400, 400 bucks uh, to wait for a load for FedEx. If the load got canceled, you get 400 bucks. If it didn't, if it didn't got canceled, you would do the load, you know, for like $1,000 or whatever, or $1,100. Uh, what do you need? Uh, power only? I'll check it out. All right, I'll, I'll check it out real quick before I leave. What's it at? Uh, right here. All right, you see? It's going to Newark to Syracuse Airport, Syracuse Airport, back to Newark. Round trip, return Monday night. Now, that's for a few months from now. I mean, that's for the third, but he I know he got this for every day. My buddy does this FedEx stuff, so uh, that's all you need. Just get, get, get your hazmat, and that's it, man. So, uh, hey, appreciate you guys for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you know anybody. Forward this video to them. Appreciate it, man. On the subscribers, like, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, y'all be safe, man. Thank you, man. Happy New Year's Day. Bye, man. Much love. Peace.